Arvind Kejriwal in ED custody, issuing one order after another. So he continues to run the Delhi government from lockup. Kejriwal issued his second direction to the health department, ordering them to ensure that there's no shortage of medicines in Delhi government hospitals. But India Today has learned from its sources that ED is unaware of how the chief minister is passing all of these orders because he has no access to any sort of government documents. He remains under surveillance. Signatures have not been obtained from him on any file. Arvind Kejriwal is running the Delhi government from ED custody, claims the Amadmi Party. The chief minister, who is being interrogated by the ED in liquor policy case, has issued a second order from lockup, this time directing the health department to ensure that there is no shortage of medicine in Mohalla clinics and government hospitals. CM Saab is बेहद व्यथित हैं कि दिल्ली के कई अस्पतालों में और मोहल्ला क्लिनिकों के अंदर दवाइयां उपलब्ध नहीं हैं तो उन्होंने मुझे आदेश दिया है कि इसके ऊपर जल्द से जल्द उचित कदम उठाए जाएं Earlier, Delhi Minister Atishi has displayed an order by the Chief Minister to ensure proper water supply during summer months. Awani Party's claims, however, have many holes. India Today has learned that government files are barred inside ED headquarters during Kejriwal's custody. ED sources say that the agency is not aware if the Delhi Chief Minister has passed any order via his lawyer. The sources add that Kejriwal remains under CCTV surveillance and that signatures have not been obtained from him on any file. The agency is probing the possibility of leaks. The BJP has launched a scathing attack on the Amami Party government, calling the orders passed by Kejriwal illegal and unconstitutional. The opposition has rallied behind Aam Aadmi Party. जमुरियत के लिए इस तरह सिटिंग चीफ मिनिस्टर को यूं डिटेन करना इस मुल्क के लिए और इस मुल्क की जमुरियत के लिए एक अच्छी बात नहीं है लेकिन ये दौर ऐसा चल रहा है और इसका हमें मुकाबला करना है केजीवाल इस लाइकली टू स्पेंड सम टाइम इन ईडी कस्टडी हाउ लॉन्ग कैन ही रन द गवर्नमेंट फ्रॉम लॉकअप द बिगर क्वेश्चन � And let's bring in on this broadcast, Munish Pandey, who tracks the Enforcement Directorate and the agencies closely for us, Amit Bharatwaj, who's getting us what the Ahmadi Party has to say about this ongoing controversy. Munish, to you first. You know, what really is the Enforcement Directorate saying about all of these orders being passed? Are there papers reaching Arvind K. Jival? Is he getting access to these files? How is he communicating to his ministers that these orders need to be passed? The Lakshita Enforcement Directorate has clarified that uh, while you are in ED custody, you are not allowed to sign on any documents which is not pertaining to the investigation. Apart from that, no one is allowed to bring any government documents, uh, you know, pertaining to uh, the Delhi government. That is also not allowed. So uh, when we ask this question that how he had signed uh, these documents, Enforcement Directorate is saying that uh, uh, in custody he has not signed any documents. The only time he can access to have some documents or speak to someone to give a message is 
7 p.m. every day when he meets his lawyer to consult in the legal case as directed by the court. But again, they have said that if he is consulting on any matters apart from the legal case, that is also illegal. Apart from that, he can meet his family members as per directions of the uh, court for half an hour daily. But again, mm -hmm. he cannot pass on any order related to the government functions. So as of now, an internal um, um, uh, inquiry is being conducted by the enforcement director to know truth about what exactly happened, whether actually he has signed any papers or not, because ED at this point of time is saying that 24 into 7, he is under surveillance of CCTV, he has no okay. access to any government documents, and if he has signed any document, then again, it is illegal, and there is a high possibility that on 28th of uh, this month, when it will be produced before the court, the ED may lodge an official complaint before the court. Interesting. So that's just two days from now. Let's see what happens. But essentially, the messaging from the ED is this. Anything that goes into Arvind Kejriwal's room, anything that comes out is scanned, is scrutinized. So there's no way these government orders are going through without the enforcement directorate actually knowing about it. Let me bring in Amit Bharatwaj on this broadcast. Amit, I remember uh, on uh, Saturday when Atishi had come out with that press conference, she held up a paper and said this is the order issued by Arvind Kejriwal. Since then, there have been questions about where this letter came from. How was this order given to the Ahmadbi party leaders? How is it being communicated to the ministers when none of them are able to actually meet him? What is the Ahmadbi party saying about this entire controversy? Uh, Akshita, you know, the AAP sources are very clear about one thing. They are maintaining that, uh, you know, no law stops the chief minister from operating himself as uh, the chief minister of the national capital. And Arvind Kejriwal is uh, pushing a narrative that irrespective of the fact, where is he? We will continue to run the government. And as part of that particular plan, uh, these orders or instructions, uh, uh, to be precise, are being uh, issued by uh, Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal, despite being in the enforcement directed custody. Now, what our sources within the party are indicating that it is, uh, as mentioned by uh, Manish as well, you know, the, uh, at the, uh, when uh, the legal counsel and the personal secretary of the CM uh, gets uh, to meet the Chief Minister, uh, that's when uh, the instructions are being given uh, to the government uh, or the cabinet minister. Now, uh, the bigger question out here, Akshita, is, is he just, uh, you know, orally dictating those orders to his personal secretary, which is being duly uh, digitalized and uh, formalized in form of a letter? And are there, uh, you know, already signed letters of Arvind Kejriwal which are being uh, used right now, you know, as per his instruction, as and when the instructions are being issued by Arvind Kejriwal from the ED custody. As far as the legality of the matter is concerned, again, uh, 28th of March is uh, the day when we will get to know as to whether he can continue to do this from ED custody or not. Uh, as far you know, as it's, the a, it's a good point that you've raised, Amit. There that, will be yes. a question about whether these are orders signed prior to Arvind Kejriwal being in ED custody because he did kind of anticipate that this would happen. He's been saying for a long time that he's going to be arrested. So was this a game plan that was kept ready? Were these orders already signed and then released now in a timely manner to send across a message that Arvind Kejriwal is still working while in ED custody? There's no way, no way else really to explain what's happening because the ED is saying that there are no loopholes through which he can actually work in this manner and issue signed orders, send it across to his ministers who are waiting outside the ED headquarters. Amit, I'll request you to stay with me. Uh, I'll just focus now on the protests that we've been witnessing over the last few hours. You had the BJP and the Ahmadbi party workers hitting the streets for completely different reasons. AAP members were seen actually trying to get out the Prime Minister's residence in the national capital. They were stopped, of course, much before that. Many of them were detained as well. The BJP, meanwhile, is questioning why the Ahmadbi party is continuing to run their government. How are Arvind Kejriwal in ED custody can actually remain the chief minister. This is the story of the two protests that rocked Delhi today. Supporters rally around. Opposition voices hit the streets demanding he quit. Arvind Kejriwal remains steadfast. In ED custody, the Delhi chief minister refuses to step down from the post. This is absolutely clear that Arvind Kejriwal Ji will be the Prime Minister of Delhi, whether the government goes inside or the government goes outside. 
Arvind Kejriwal issuing official instructions while in custody for questioning by the Enforcement Directorate in connection with the alleged Delhi liquor scam. His first order after his arrest linked to water and sewerage issues. Aaj bhi, giraftar hone ke baad bhi, Arvind Kejriwal ji sirf Dilli walon ke baare mein soch rahe hain, Dilli walon ke kaamon ke baare mein soch rahe hain, aur aaj main Arvind Kejriwal ji ki taraf se aapko ye aashwast karti hain, ke Dilli ke mukhya mantri Arvind Kejriwal bhi, aaj bhi Dilli ki puri vyavastha ko nigrani mein rakh rahe hain, aur Dilli walon ki dekh rek kar rahe hain. Arvind Kejriwal's second instruction linked to Delhi's health services. सीएम साहब ये जान के बेहद व्यथित हैं कि दिल्ली के कई अस्पतालों में और मोहल्ला क्लिनिकों के अंदर दवाइयां उपलब्ध नहीं तो उन्होंने मुझे आदेश दिया है कि इसके ऊपर जल्द से जल्द उचित कदम उठाए जाएं और ये सुनिश्चित किया जाए कि सभी अस्पतालों में मोहल्ला क्लिनिकों में सारी दवाइयां और सारे टेस्ट मुफ्त मिले और उनकी उपलब्धता कम ना हो। As investigators scrutinize the legality of these orders issued from within the ED custody, the BJP has stepped up its attack on the Aam Aadmi Party and its arrested chief, accusing them of violating the custody protocols. The BJP and its supporters demanded he resign as chief minister. ईडी की कस्टडी में रहते हुए अरविंद केजरीवाल कोई ऑर्डर भी नहीं पास कर सकते और ऐसा कोई प्रावधान और ऐसी कोई स्टैचू नहीं है इसके बावजूद अरविंद केजरीवाल जी के नाम से जो ये गलत काम किया गया है मैंने उपराज्यपाल जी से आग्रह किया है तुरंत इसकी इंक्वायरी की जाए मुकदमा दर्ज किया जाए आतिशी जी और जो जो लोग इसमें इन्वॉल्व थे मुख्यमंत्री का ऑफिस इलीगल तरीके से चलाने में उसको हाईजैक करने में क्रिमिनल कॉन्स्परेसी में इन सबको एक्सपोज किया जाए इस दिल्ली की जनता का ये यही मांग है कि अरविंद केजरीवाल इस्तीफा दो उन्होंने न सिर्फ दिल्ली को लूटा है बल्कि दिल्ली को पानी के बिना साफ पानी के बिना सीवर के बिना दवाइयों के बिना एक जो मिनिमम गरीबों की जो जरूरत होती है उसके बिना दिल्ली को रसातल में पहुंचा दिया लोग खून के आंसू रो रहे हैं इस देश की विभिन्न कचहरियों ने जुडिशियल ऑर्डर्स में पाया है कि जांच एजेंसियों ने प्राइमा फेसी एविडेंस इस्टेब्लिश कर दिया है आम आदमी पार्टी लीडर्स के खिलाफ और उसमें यह पाया गया है कि 100 करोड़ रुपए के किकबैक्स अरविंद केजरीवाल जी ने और उनकी पार्टी ने लिए हैं और वो पैसा पूरा का पूरा आम आदमी पार्टी की गतिविधियों में इस्तेमाल किया गया है with Lok Sabha elections looming, the Aam Aadmi Party, however, remains resolute, expressing unwavering solidarity with its founder, seemingly to capitalize politically on his arrest. Bureau Report, India Today. So today you had the Aam Aadmi Party leaders and members attempting to get out the Prime Minister's residence. Tomorrow they've decided that they're going to be protesting in all courts of the national capital at 12 p.m. across Delhi. So the Delhi High Court, uh, the Patiala House Court, Dwarka Court, Saket Court, the Rouse Avenue Court, all local courts also will be get out by the Aam Aadmi Party. Now AAP has also issued a call on social media saying lawyers will also gather to be a part of this agitation. Let me take this across to Amit Bharatwaj for more details. Amit, round two of protest by the Aam Aadmi Party. They've made it clear that every single day they will have one Gerao plan or the other. Tomorrow they're going to be gathering at all courts in Delhi. Uh, true, Akshata. You know, they are working on two plans uh, uh, as we speak for tomorrow. Uh, number one, the protest will happen by the legal cell of Aam Aadmi Party in all prominent courts of the national capital. That is being taken care of by the uh, legal cell of the Aam Aadmi Party. But they, remember, there is India Alliance Mega Rally in uh, Ram Lila Maidan on 31st of March. And Aam Aadmi Party is now focusing uh, itself on 31st uh, rally. They want to make sure that not only the top leaders of India bloc uh, join this rally in the national capital, but also 
the crowd turnout sends across a message that there's a strong show of strength as well as a a sense of uh, you know sympathy towards Arvind Kejriwal in Delhi NCR as well and that is why tomorrow around the uh, 2500 spots have been identified in the national capital where the meetings will be conducted uh, to garner support for the March 31st rally. So that is being done as well. And along with this, Akshita, we were talking about the government instructions being issued by Arvind Kejriwal from ED custody. There will be a Delhi Assembly session uh, uh, tomorrow, as, uh, tomorrow and uh, they will be taking up the issue of healthcare infrastructure in the national capital and the challenges that are coming up uh, as far as the health uh, infrastructure is concerned. So protest on one side, Ramlila preparation for the other side, as well mm -hmm. as uh, uh, amplifying and implementing what is being uh, sent out by the part, not only the party chief, but okay. also the Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal from the ED custody. So let's see how that plays out. Thanks, Amit, for joining us with all of those details. The messaging is clear. The Aam Aadmi Party is trying to gain political dividend from the arrest of Arvind Kejriwal. Can that actually happen? Let's break that down for you data-wise. The ARP essentially in 2020 gained 36% of the vote share, snatching 18% from the BJP and the Congress. If you actually break that down, it was largely at the cost of Congress. So there's about 18% of a swing vote that's relevant in Delhi. So with Kejriwal's arrest, what can actually happen? Here are four scenarios for you. Now, in each of these scenarios, we're looking at what really can be the impact. In scenario one, there's no sympathy for the Aam Party, which means 18% of the swing votes go to the BJP. In line with what happens usually in Delhi in general elections, BJP will win seven seats. Now, in scenario two, the AAP manages to get some sympathy. About 6%, let's say, one-third of that vote share, and only 12% return to the BJP fold. Now that 6% swing in favor of the AAP compared to 2019, and also considering, of course, that this is the AAP Congress combined we're talking about, it could be two seats for the AAP Congress combined, the BJP with five. That is if this story actually translates to some sympathy for Arvind Kejriwal. The third scenario is where AAP manages to really build momentum, keep half or 9% of that 18% swing vote with themselves and the other half return to the BJP fold. In effect, a 9% swing in favor of the up compared to 2019 and 9% for the BJP. What will that mean with regards to seats? Huge, because the up Congress then could get five seats and the BJP just two. The fourth scenario, most ideal for the Aam Aadmi Party, which is out of that 18%. If they manage to get just about 12% of these voters onto their side by using the narrative of Arvind Kejriwal's arrest of a political witch hunt, it means that a 12% swing in favor of AAP and compared to 2019 may actually result in a sweep by the AAP Congress combined. So seven seats could go to the AAP Congress. We have broken that down for you in different scenarios. 2019 is the actual number. And then if the AAP manages to gain any momentum, it's all about that 18% swing vote. Which way that goes and what percentage of it actually moves this way or that can perhaps decide what the elections look like in the national capital in the upcoming weeks. Now, amid this and this entire debate over Arvind Kejriwal actually going ahead and running the government from jail, there have been many names, many scenarios that have been discussed about what could happen next, because this obviously is not ideal, not feasible. There are several hindrances. And amid that, the name of Sunita Kejriwal constantly comes up, the wife of Arvind Kejriwal. Here's the press conference that she held a few days ago, seated exactly how Arvind Kejriwal, the chief minister, sits when he addresses a press conference with a picture of Bhagat Singh and Dr. Ambedkar. So in his office, in his chair, seated is Sunita Kejriwal, reading out Arvind Kejriwal's message. And that particular posturing has sent across a message and a massive debate on social media on whether Sunita Kejriwal could be the next chief minister of Delhi. Could Kejriwal follow the Lalu model and go ahead and make his wife the CM? A day after his arrest, seated in his chair with portraits of Bhagat Singh and Dr. Ambedkar, Sunita Kejriwal read out a message from her husband. मेरी सभी माताओं और बहनों से अपील है अपने भाई और अपने बेटे पर भरोसा रखो ऐसी सलाखें नहीं जो आपके भाई और आपके बेटे को ज्यादा दिन अंदर रख सके मैं जल्द बाहर आऊंगा 
और अपना वादा पूरा करूंगा Soon after this video was streamed, there has been endless questions on whether Kejriwal could hand over the Chief Minister baton to his better half, or whether Sunita Kejriwal would take over as the Chief Minister. Sunita, a former IRS officer, has maintained a low profile for years, even as her husband quickly climbed the political ladder. She's been seen in some election rallies, even campaigning recently for Bhagwant Man during the 2022 Punjab elections. Sunita Kejriwal does not hold any position in the Aam Aadmi Party and has never been in the political spotlight until now. As the only one meeting Kejriwal on a daily basis for 30 minutes, Sunita Kejriwal has access to the Chief Minister, and with her address in the exact same office that her Chief Minister husband held his briefings, the political buzz is peaking. उनकी बाध्यता और उनकी वेदना ये दोनों मैं समझ सकती हूँ उनकी ये व्यक्तिगत वेदना जो आज वो सार्वजनिक कर रही हैं मैं कहूँगी इस वेदना के लिए पूरी तरह जिम्मेदार हैं माननीय मुख्यमंत्री अरविंद केजरीवाल जी उन्होंने अपने 100 करोड़ रुपए के किकबैक्स के लिए दिल्ली की जनता को दो से ज़्यादा करोड़ रुपयों के लिए ठगा है देखिए इसमें वो जेल में रहकर मुख्यमंत्री रहते हैं नहीं रहते इसमें कोई कानूनी बाधा तो है नहीं और ये ऐसे भी आम आदमी पार्टी का अपना निर्णय है वो क्या करना चाहती क्या नहीं करना चाहती वो जाने मैं तो केवल एक व्यक्तिगत रूप से ये कह सकता हूँ कि शायद बेहतर ये होगा प्रशासन के हिसाब से कि वो किसी को मनोनीत कर दे कोई चला ले लेकिन ये उनके ऊपर है वो किस तरह चलाना चाहते हैं क्या नहीं चलाना चाहते हैं द आम आदमी पार्टी सो फार हेज रबिश एनी क्लेम्स ऑफ सुनीता टेकिंग ओवर द चीफ मिनिस्टर मेंटेनिंग दैट केजरीवाल इज द चीफ मिनिस्टर फॉर नाउ सुनने में आया है कि सुनीता केजरीवाल कमान संभालेंगी आम आदमी पार्टी की सही गलत ऐसा मुझे तो बिल्कुल भी नहीं ऐसा सुनने में है आपको सुनने में आता है पता तो आपको सुनाने वाले ज्यादा हैं लेकिन ये कौन से कानून में लिखा है अभी वो दोषी नहीं है तो एक सिटिंग सीएम को अगर आप ले जाओगे अरेस्ट करके डिटेन कर लोगे तो वो सीएम नहीं रह सकता किसी कानून में नहीं लिखा बट विल केजरीवाल डू अलू इफ यू गेट्स नो लीगल रिलीफ इन दिकस कैम Delhi Chief Minister has two options: one to follow the Lalu model of 1997, when he quickly named Rabri Devi as the Chief Minister when he was arrested in the Fodder scam; two, he can do a Jail Alita, who in 2014, when she was arrested in a DA case, appointed her political go-to man OPS as the Chief Minister; an IRS officer to homemaker to Chief Minister. Sunita Kejriwal could just hold the fort for her husband while he fights the liquor scam case against him. But for now, Aam Aadmi Party is playing its cards close to its chest. Bureau report India today. अपने भाई और अपने बेटे पर भरोसा रखो.